Twitter, right? <laughs> where they, they couldn't do it on Facebook because they were connected with their parents. But uh, that's at the speed they like to communicate too, you know? Uh, I, I haven't seen a lot of them go to Instagram yet. You would think they do that uh, picture thing. How about Snapchat? Everybody hear of Snapchat right here? <laughs> All right, good. Do you think Snapchat will have a, t have a place in the B2B space? I'm gonna tell you my answer. Not sure yet. Don't know yet. Maybe. How about Vines? Does everybody know what Vines is? All right, so listen to me. I'm Everybody that knows, we're in the circle, everybody else doesn't know. Vines is another social media channel where you can create these videos that, that are short and can run over and over again. And uh, the GoPro head cams, they've got a good Vines example, they've been successful with that. My point is, some of these social media disruptors will come along uh, and we'll see how they explain here, but they'll be disrupted just like Pinterest. I mean, I mean people like, this is never gonna work, you know. I couldn't do pictures. I love pictures. I think it's a, depending on your business, right? We need to display images. So let's talk a little bit about this, the mobile disruptor, i.e. the smartphone. Now, I used to, in the old days, ask people to raise their hand if they have a feature phone. Does everybody know what a feature phone is? <laughs> you know what a feature phone is? Any, who knows what a feature phone is? Raise your hand quick, that's it. I'll look like I don't want an answer. Go ahead. There's something like Palm, right? Like, Okay, that's what I was looking for. You can just do simple tasks, like what? Oh, like maybe you could. Well, the first thing we could do is make a phone call. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> then what? Uh, maybe you could take notes. Yeah. Or if you're lucky enough, maybe you could do email, simple email. Yeah. But that's about it. Okay, now we have the smartphone. What, what can the smartphone do? <laughs> oh, someone wants to answer bad here. I'm sorry, go ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead. It does everything. I, I just about, doesn't it? It sure does a lot more than the computer I had, even the Mac and Apple on my desktop in uh, you know, 1987 or whatever it was. I mean, it's, it's a very powerful tool, but it does calculating, it has applications, it has the internet connected, right? So this little picture here just talked about, it's actually you know, the feature phones and then the smartphone adoption. That's why I like mobile so much because it's just gone like this. And I'm not here to have the battle whether the iPhone is better than the Galaxy. It's not doesn't matter to me. Uh, my point is that we have a lot of adoption in the mobile space and we need to keep our eyes on mobile marketing, which will include social. Here's a little graph that just shows, uh, it's, I always say the word amazing, it's not amazing, but it's interesting to see. This, this line here talks about the mobile use on the internet, interaction on the internet. I already believe this app has surpassed all of the internet interaction on our PC devices. Think about it. And it's true, because if you're all there right now, and I ask you to go on Twitter, and you're all, no one brought their PC here, did they? Why? Well, right? Nobody brought their PC. Everyone has their mobile thing, so it's not surprising. How come you think this, anybody, uh, Bill's uh, coffin's going to give you a prize, otherwise going to give you a uh, why, why, why is there so much adoption? Why was there so much adoption in the, in the mobile uh, phone space? How come? Go ahead. I think two reasons. One is because uh, people that couldn't afford laptops, de desktops, and that had the functionality that they needed from those type of computers on their phone already. Mm -hmm. So or it was there. Otherwise, they couldn't have, have afforded it, and uh, it's been incredibly affordable. Uh, the other thing is, is uh, the need for to be paperless, or the, the desire to be paperless, is there, and, and the mobile phones can do anything except print, basically. And if you don't need to, you're good. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not so sure about the papers, but I like the affordability. That's really what happened. Quick story. So I, I'm, a, I'm like a junkie for all this stuff. I get my first smartphone and I'm gone. Well, this is like nine years ago. I can do everything streaming fast, right? And this is great. And, I'm, and I said to my kids, and I know this is a luxury dog, I said, you, you guys want a smartphone? Right? They got the Razor flip phone. I'm the Razor. <laughs> they can type faster. My son actually came home and said, you know, Dad. That in like 80 years from now, everybody's uh, thumbs will have points because we use our phones. I'm like, really, Luke? Okay, you know, probably right because we will adapt to that. But my point was, he says, I don't want a smartphone. I don't ever want that. I'm thinking, all right, even they didn't get it back then. But anyways, the phone starts to evolve. Like you talk about price. All of a sudden, I said, Do you want? It? He goes, oh, Hey, I want that phone now, Dad. I said, Well, you're gonna wait until the next revision because then I get it for 75 bucks, and if you wait a little bit longer, 50 bucks. 
so the cost and the affordability has come down so we all can get it, whether we get a, uh, an iPhone 5 all the way down to the 4, 3, it doesn't matter, but it's, it's in our reach. Technology that's, that's marketing hot today, and we talk, I talked here at this table a little bit about responsive web, uh, we'll talk what that is today. How about technology to reach the mobile audience? So I need a little help here. Does everybody know what a QR code is? Right hand. Oh, very good. Look how smart you guys are. How about left hand near field communication? NFC? All right, good. All right, so uh, I like calling you when it is, because I forget. And then, uh, I'm supposed to laugh here. <coughs> I wouldn't put it up there if I didn't know what it was. And then we have augmented reality. How about right hand? Augmented reality? I love those two. Yeah. I love QR too, but uh, it's a way for us to reach the mobile audience. The whole setup here is to know these disruptors in our industry and let's not let's find a way that we can communicate with them in a better way. And then last but not least, integrating an SMS text camp uh, into your capabilities. Just like you talked about. So tell me your success story in your text campaign. Tell everybody what you did. Uh, let me set it up for you. So your name is? My name is Meg. I work for Beer Bradley. Very good. Yeah. I'm an email designer. Good. And we just started our SMS campaign. Um, it started out where we sent um, everybody on our email list, um, emails, advertising, that you can join the SMS list um, on our website. We also have it. You know we are Bradley, you know that our fans are crazy and they're wonderful and they just love us. So we got great response immediately and um, people started joining. And at first we would set out codes and then we also sent out questions which then we would use as data such as what's your favorite baseball item, PJ pants, the lunch sack, or the lap jets. And then um, depending on how you would reply back, you'd give another little message with a promo code. Then we would save that data thing. Our SMS people, the majority of us, love these days. And, um, and it's going, how, how is it going? It's going really well. All right, good. Yeah. And I think it'll go well for a while, as long as you evolve and go well for a while. But, you know, it's, all of these things are still marketing hot if you didn't know that they were. And to dabble in some of these are good. So, uh, in talking about that marketing hot, we've got a quick response code. It said, oh, wait a second, there's a Boston Celtics logo embedded in there, right? Boom! <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> now I know that the resolution is not so good here, but that actually QR code has, it looks like a basketball. It has a, if you see it up close. Uh, the first thing I always hear about QR codes is how ugly they are, right? And I'm like, you know what, we can make them a lot better. We can't be designers. We don't know how to head yes, right? So uh, it is a way to reach the mobile audience. Just don't put the QR code like I passed in Fort Wayne Airport. Right? You see all the QR codes on the big banners and poster signs? Did you see them? On the floor, like the three-year-old's going to scan them. You know, you know, if I was a little bit younger, I'd probably dive on the floor and scan one. But it's just, I don't know why in our world of marketing, these things came along and we just forgot about marketing. It's a, it, you see them everywhere, they, and I think they, they, got, they get a bad rap. But there are things, maybe with some direction, maybe some better looking, but we also have other tools like near field communication. And near field, uh, does anybody, who was the one that said they knew what near field was? Did you know what near field communication was? Would you tell them what your version is? Uh, most of all devices. That okay, hold on a second. Let's start over. You are Ben. 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 My name is Ben from, uh, I'm he's a freelance contractor, so this would be anything done. Right, Ben? <laughs> help him here. I'm trying to help. Okay, so to near field, NFC, what is it? Uh, it allows the mobile devices to send data to short distances and like the victory hang with their phones. Uh, we also can put tags on printed pieces like badge, touch the phone. What phones don't do it today? <coughs> well, no, well, you said. Uh, no, the old, yeah, the old Nokia might because they had that stuff built in, but you know, Samsung Galaxy, which was the highest selling mobile device in the fourth quarter of 2012, has it in it. Uh, you go to Mohair Airport, they have a big sign up there that says, you know, touch your NFC device here. The reason I'm talking about this is a lot of folks say, ah, it's never gonna, not going to happen because the iPhone doesn't have it, right? That doesn't mean your audience that care. 
Garza. 